welcome to Baking Basics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic birthday sponge. It's a really simple recipe and you can adapt it to make all sorts of different flavours. So you're going to need soft room temperature butter, golden caster sugar, room temperature eggs, self-raising flour and a touch of baking powder. It's really important everything's at room temperature and ideally if you've got a stand mixer or a hand whisk it will make the job a lot easier. If not you're going to need a lot of elbow grease because you want to get a lot of air into your sponge. Take your sugar and pop it into your bowl and then add your butter. And then it goes. At this point I like to add my flavourings. I'm going to make a vanilla one here so I'm just going to give a good generous splash of vanilla bean paste. You could also add other flavours so you could add something like zest of an orange, lemon zest, lavender, perhaps even some herbs. Whisk this now on high speed. Go around the edge there just to get that down into the bottom of the bowl. You'll need to do this a few times during the mixing because you'll find it will kind of creep up the sides of the bowl. So just make sure every so often you scrape it back down. And what you want to see is it going much, much more creamy and lighter in colour. Now I'm going to give you a top tip here, something I discovered when I had my bakery um, to really help the creaming process be a bit faster and also much lighter. I had some just boiled water to my batter. So I've just boiled the kettle, I'm going to put it on slow and just add couple of tablespoons worth of boiling water and once that's all mixed in I'm going to turn the speed up again and that will really help it to get a lot lighter and fluffier. There we go. So have a look in my bowl, it's already gone a lot whiter and paler and it's really looking more creamy so I'm going to give it another minute and we'll be ready to add the eggs. Okay so there it is, lovely pale fluffy creamy butter and sugar. Now it's time to add your eggs. So I'm going to crack my eggs in one by one. I like to crack each one into a bowl just in case there's any shell. Just one at a time. And just wait till each one's incorporated and just keep adding until they're all into the mixture. Plop! So that's my last egg going in. So it's eight eggs in there. At this point, it might look a bit curdled. Do not worry about that. When you put the flour in, um, that will all disappear. It's self-raising flour, but adding uh, about a teaspoon of baking powder to the self-raising flour really helps get a nice and airy, fluffy sponge. So if you did want to make this birthday sponge a chocolate cake, you could just substitute 50 grams of the flour for 50 grams of cocoa, and then it would be really nice and chocolatey. So now I'm just going to add this on slow in about increments of three or four. So now the powder's disappeared, I'll add the next bit. So that's all mixed in. Now it's time to pop it in the tins. It's a really nice idea to bake it in three layers if you can, so it's really nice and light and fluffy. And the tins you'll notice are base lined and side lined. That's going to make it much easier for you to get them out of the tins. So just weigh that in. First one. So once you've got your sponge mixture into the tins, just layer it off, sorry, level it off. Spready spread. So I'm going to pop this in the oven, 180 degrees, until it's just lightly golden and springy to the touch, and um, a, a, a skewer, a skewer, <laughs> comes out clean. So in it goes. Perfect, perfectly baked sponges. Grab yourself a wire rack. I'm just going to quickly flip that over should come out. There it goes. Peel that off. Look at the steam. So just leave them to steam off on the wire rack. You can see that's a perfectly lovely springy sponge. If you want to see how to layer up and build a birthday sponge, check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that. Don't mess it up and I'll see you soon for more baking. Bye! <laughs>